as Juan McDonald again from Outdoor Academy. I've got my student Christian Nunez, Muay Thai fighter. What we're going to go over today is some defenses to the Muay Thai claw or the neck clutch. Okay, I'll go over three basic ones. What we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do when the opponent starts going for the neck clutch, what he's trying to do is hang heavy on my head. He's trying to pull the neck down, start dropping knees, keep me off balance. Okay, as soon as I feel him going for that neck clutch, I'm going to make sure I keep my head up to start fighting that. I'm going to make sure I get my hips close to him. I don't want him to get his hips back so that he has more weight on my neck. So as soon as he starts going for that neck clutch, I'm going to get my head up, my hips in, and I'm going to be trying to get under these elbows. This is the key right here. Get under these elbows with my double underhooks. Okay, pressuring forward, hopefully put him against the ropes. <coughs> That's the first line of defense. Second, he gets the neck clutch. <coughs> First one I'm going to do from here, I'm going to take either my right or my left hand. We'll start with our right hand. I'm going to reach over his arm. I'm going to open my hand. I'm going to take his chin. I'm going to push his chin <coughs> all the way until I get my arm fully extended. When you see people do this one, all too often you see him push about halfway and then give up on it. And at that point he reestablishes the clinch. We go back here and defend the knees. When he's throwing knees, I'll be defending by keeping my elbows in. I obviously don't want to stay here too long and take too much punishment to the forearms or the body. <clears throat> so, right hand across, I'm going to open my hand up, push on his chin. I'm going to push his chin away. I can reinforce if I want to. Make sure I get full extension with my arm. Okay? Then from here, if I'm a striker, I could drop my strikes. If I was a grappler, I could go into my clutching or my grapple. <clears throat> and I could do that on the other side. Left hand over, push the chin away. Get full extension. Being a striker, I would probably follow up with strikes. Grappler going to my clutch. Yeah. One more. He's got the clutch on. I'm going to take my left hand to the opposite elbow. I'm going to push it up. When I push that elbow up, I'm going to replace it with my shoulder to my clutch. On the other side, I take my right hand, open it up. I'm going to push the inside of his elbow up, just like this. <clears throat> I'm going to replace it, down my shoulder under, and then I'll work to one of my clip positions from there that you typically use in your style of fight. So one more time. First thing I'm going to do, heads up. Hips in, trying to get under those elbows. I don't want his elbows to get down. Okay, two. I'll take one of my hands, open it up. Push it until I get full extension here. Then drop my punches. On my clutch, three. Take my hand, open it up, go to the opposite elbow. I'm going to replace that gap with my shoulder. Into my clutch, into whatever takedown you take. Okay. 